And with that, we have Owen Drexel, center, number 60. Yep. Appreciate your time. We'll go ahead and open up for questions for Mr. Drexel. Owen, um, you know, how is this spring different uh, with Jimmy gone? I mean, you're, you're the center on the team this year. How have you kind of approached things differently this year? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, I mean, for me, I mean, it's the, the leadership vacancy that, that Jimmy was. He was a great leader. I really had to step in. And, uh, like, you know, like Coach always says, you know, the center is the leader of the offensive line, and I just really wanted to be that for my guys. Put them in the best position so they can win every rep. Is that natural to you, Owen, that leadership? Uh, is that something that, you know, you feel like really comfortable with or is it something you've been adjusting to? Um, it's actually come really natural to me uh, this spring, but it's, it's been built over a long time, especially learning from a guy like Jimmy. What kind of advice did he give you? Did, or the, did he give you like a list of things that you, did he give you, you know, yeah, yeah. Part of wisdom what? He never really gave me like a, like a real list, but it was just watching him every day. You know, the, the biggest thing really from Jim is leading by example, like especially, you know, watching film, coming in after. Like when I was younger, I wouldn't always, you know, spend the time I needed to here that I do now. You know, I'm here all day, year round. So, yeah, everything I got to do to get better and make my guys better. You know, I would think a lot of your uh... – you know, the reps in the past was Kenny was working with Jimmy. So how has it been, you know, working with Kenny on a day-to-day -day basis now? Oh, it's great. You know, playing with a guy like Kenny, everything's easy. You don't have to worry about anything. So, no, it's been, it's been seamless. You know, I've, I've played with him some, and he came in with me. So we've always been close. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's been good. It's been great. Uh, Coach Narduzzi kind of talked a little bit yesterday about how um, crucial – last year was for you guys in a way of kind of being able to get snaps when injuries happen and stuff like that. How big was that for you? I'm um, kind of getting those extra snaps last year that you might have not gotten on a, on a regular season, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that, that was, that was awesome for me. You know, I, I uh, never really got my opportunity for my first couple of years here. And so last year was, was huge for me, you know, really getting my feet wet playing ACC football. So yeah, it was, it was awesome. What was that start like for you at Boston College last year, getting that experience? Oh, it was it was great. You know, um, the way it happened, you know, I, I wouldn't wouldn't ever want that to happen. But you know, when my number was called, I was I was ready, and uh, you know, Borbs trusted me, Jimmy trusted me, so it was, it was it was a great feeling knowing that I was trusted by you know my teammates and my coaches. Was it weird having Jimmy like on the field with you at guard? I mean, how bizarre was that? <laughs> it was it was definitely a little weird, but hey, I'll I'll take it. The, he. He sees the defense better than anybody. So, I mean, I'll take that guy to my right every time. Because normally the, the center's the guys, you know, making checks and all that kind yep. of thing. Was, I, I forget, was he pointing stuff out during that Boston College game, or did he kind of leave that to you in, in letting you kind of handle that? No, Jim, Jimmy was great. You know, he uh, – on the sideline, he would help me a lot. But in the game, he let, he let me run the show. So, I really appreciate him for that. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, how much did that, like, mean to you to, to have that experience and, and have that trust with – him and then the other offensive linemen in, in the group there. Oh, it's great. It's great. You know, it's something trust is built over time. So, you know, it took me, it took me a long time to build that up with my guys. But once it's there, you know, it's, it's hard to break. And these guys, you know, they'll play, play their tails off for each other. So it's, it's awesome. You know, like college athletics lately, it's, it's changed a lot where, you know, guys transfer and, you know, you were a backup for so many years. I mean, have you ever, did you ever think like, you know, maybe I could find somewhere I can play or, you know, what was that like kind of being a backup for all those years? I mean, for me personally, it never really crossed my mind because of the great culture we have here. You know, uh, I got my two closest friends in the world, Carter and Gabe, you know, Jake. You know, these guys mean so much to me. It'd be it'd really out of my mind for a long time. I can't, I can't really leave those guys. They're like family. Oh, and you mentioned, uh, you know, the other guys around Carter, Jake, everyone. What do you kind of make of the offensive line? Because I know that there's a competition going on at tackle and, you know, Bryce leaves. So Marcus has stepped in well, but, you know, some, some movement and some fluidity and that will probably go into the fall. I mean, how have you kind of uh, taken that, uh, it, you know, given your position on, on the line? Oh, I take, I take it in stride. I mean, the three tackles we have battling out right now, we're all great players. They all each bring a special thing when they, uh, when they step on the field. And, you know, Marcus, he's, he's a baller, man. He's a, he's a really good football player. I can't wait you guys really see you watch him play, physical dude. And, yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been seamless, I really feel like.
Oh, and you kind of talked about, I guess, spending more time um, in the building and things like that. When did that kind of change for you? Or when did you realize you might need to put a little more work in or anything like that? Was there kind of like a, a switch that flipped for you? Yeah, for me, it was really, you know, the change started to happen, you know, my retro freshman year. You know, our, our uh, Coach Boers always talks about, you know, he always tells the young guys, really, like, you got to get on your stuff. The younger you do, I mean, the better it is for you. And for me, it took me, you know, my, my retro freshman year and that year after, just watching Jimmy come in every day uh, during the season, coming back late at night, watching film to really understand the teams we were playing and their schemes. So for me, I mean, it, watching that, I mean, you can't really get much better. Is that kind of something you try to pass on to the younger guys now too as well, you know, being some, one of the older guys? Exactly, exactly. I try to, I try to teach them, you know, don't be the first one to leave. You should always be one of the last, especially when you're a hog. Oh, and you're, you're the guy that's uh, blocking for everyone. I mean, uh, you know, Coach Arduzzi's been talking about Izzy this spring and how he's been performing. Uh, you know, what, what can Pitt fans kind of expect to see from him on Saturday and what kind of player is he going to be? That, so I'll tell you what, that kid is, is going to be a great, great football player here. Strong, fast, physical. He has the whole toolbox, and he's finally getting to really, really start using them. So, yeah, he's going to be a baller. Owen, I'm curious that the running game has not been something that's been a strong suit. You guys have gone throwing a lot the last couple of years. I mean, how much of an emphasis has that been in this spring as opposed to the last couple? Has it been something, you know, is, is RBU back in, the, back in the mix here? Man, looking at the guys we have right now, I, I think it is. I mean, uh, that was the, I mean, every spring run game is always an emphasis. It's half the, half the game. But, uh, you know, this spring, I, I feel like for me, what I was trying to bring to the guys was like a uh, – like a mentality of physicality. So, you know, we would always try to finish, finish guys, you know, there, there are boys, everything across the line, but not when we step on the field, that kind of thing. Oh, and you mentioned uh, Kenny earlier in that relationship. Um, I know Montclair and, you know, Oakhurst, like it's, it's what, an hour apart. Yeah, uh, it. But, um, you know, did you know him, know of him in high school and everything and coming in and how far does that uh, go back? It was actually pretty funny. I remember my uh, – when I think it was right after both of us committed uh, was one of the first time I met him was at a 7-on-7 seven seven that Montclair was doing down at um, some some uh, college down uh, down by him. And uh, my team was playing his team. And, man, if he wasn't a quarterback, he could be a cornerback because <laughs> that dude was locking, locking our dudes down. So, yeah. Yeah, I've been I've, – I've known him for a long time now. What was your role in the seven on seven? Oh, just just snapping. Uh, no, I was just snapping. I was snapping. I caught one touchdown though on a trick play. It was nice. A little athleticism. <laughs> you uh, you talked to Coach Borbley and, and Whipple about. Uh, I don't even know how it would work out because I know tackles have caught touchdown passes in the past, but you know, as as a center, maybe a little fumble ruski action. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm curious about your relationship with Jimmy and just sort of what he's kind of meant to you and in, in, in terms of your development and, and, and comfort, you know, getting comfortable and just sort of getting ready to kind of take over for a guy that's been doing it for a long time. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy's like an older brother mm -hmm. to me, and I've, I've talked a lot uh, just learning from him. Like, I, I said it a lot before, too. Like, that's the type of guy that you really want to model yourself after. Just not even, you know, only how he plays. He plays great, but it's the way he uh, acts off the field, the way he acts to people in the facility. You know, everyone, he knows everybody's name, and I'm, I'm trying to be, like, the same kind of person. Do you know everybody's name? I'm pretty good. I'm getting better. <laughs> Anything else for Owen? Well, that was great. Owen, really appreciate your time today. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And on Saturday, but go blue. <laughs> go gold. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Owen. And our second guest, second and final guest today, will be another gold team representative, safety Brandon Hill, should be joining us shortly. So thank you all for joining us for the session today. Like always, we'll send out the recording of this afterwards and hope to see many of you at Heinz Field on Saturday. And there he is, number nine on the gold team, Brandon Hill joining us. Yeah, once he's unmuted, we'll, we'll get going here. Brandon, thanks for your time today. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for having me. Of course. We will open it up for questions. <laughs> for Hill. Brandon, um, you know, I think Eric's been hurt this, uh, this spring. DeMar and Paris moved on. So 
you're kind of the only safety back there with some real game experience and you're still a younger guy. How has that been? And, you know, how have you tried to take on kind of a leadership role in that? Oh, that's actually pretty funny because, like, I've, I've noticed that on myself, how we have, like, older guys graduated, and yes, Eric's hurt at the moment, and then I had to take in that leadership role, and that, if that's what the team needs me to do, I'm, I'm going to do anything for the team. So if somebody needs a leader to step up, especially in a defensive back room, I'm willing to take that role. I actually played some of that role in high school. Like, I would look at a leader in high school, so it's not too much of a challenge for me. It's like more natural, so I feel like what comes off natural, I got a good relationship with the guys around me, so I feel like that also helps out being a leader as well. You know, Brandon, was, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Damar was kind of that guy last year, and you know, for a couple years even. So, what were you able to take from his, uh, you know, leadership role and see how he went about things? Yes, Damar, yes, a phenomenal leader, great football player. IQ was off, football IQ was off the charts. Like just playing behind him. I was able to like pick his brain, like just playing behind him, like my first two years here, I was able to see how he practices, see how like his work ethic, how he watches film. He used to come over to where I lived at and what we watch film on practice, the games. And I would just pick his brain, like to see how like he reading like little stuff, like just to make it better. And he like, he brings like, he brings more than one guys with you. So, so that's how the leadership plays into effect. That's how it makes him a, a great leader because he's going to show, he's going to lead by example. And he's also going to tell you and help you along the way to bring him with you. So I feel like he does a great job at being a leader and I feel like he's helped me. He helped me with that. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to keep things going. Brandon, you talked you talked about you stepping up as a leader in high school, but I mean you stepped up with a pick a huge pick six against Florida State last year, and you know in, in a in a game that helped flip around you guys' season at the end of the year. What have you kind of taken from like you know you had some really big moments like that, but what have you taken that you got to improve on, and how you use built off that to kind of get your year set up for you? I just want to go in having just having an aggressive year, just showing physicality. Showing the energy, bringing the energy through the um, defensive back room, through the back end, through the defense as a whole to bring energy. I feel like when you when you play on defense, you have to have energy. You have to bring energy. You have to. You can't play defense like out there just boring, just like lacks a days ago. You have to be aggressive, fundamental, sharp, because you're reacting off of what what's being thrown at you. So you have to be quick on your feet. And I'm just trying to bring, I'm just trying to bring a dog mentality. Like when I step on the field, it's like it's me versus you every time. So. I just feel like I just feel like you got to be a dog. Brandon, um, when you uh, took over for Paris last year after he left, and you had the big game against Florida State, um, how much of that like did you feel like you had something to prove, like maybe stepping into Paris's shoes, and how much did that boost your confidence going forward after the after your performance against Florida State? Yes, ma'am. I'm always when I'm on the sideline. I'm always ready to when we when your number's supposed to be, when your number's called. You're always supposed to be ready. So that's what I that's what I feel like. I was when my number was called and there's plays to be made. And I feel like I feel like I was able to do that and step in. Like I don't feel like I have to prove anything because like in myself, like I know like I'm capable. I know what my team is capable of. And when we all play together, as it, we're gonna we're, like we can go far. We all play together on one accord. I got great guys around me, so it's easier to play with when you have good a, a good group of guys around you. So I feel like <clears throat> my teammates help me play faster, get me along the game. So I feel like no, no pressure, no pressure. Brandon, what have you seen out of uh, MJ Devonshire? This spring, you know, I, I know, you know, Coach Narduzzi told us that he's been working at both corner and safety. Yes, I was actually I'm very impressed by my MJ. Uh, he's been, he's been in practice. He's a fast guy. Like, uh, there's not too many people in the ACC who can run, who's going to run past MJ this year. Um, he's just like, cause he's he's free play, he form play corner. So at safety, he's just, it's just more like he's like a cover guy, but. He's been fast, um, physical to the ball. He's always around the ball. Like this past spring, he probably had like four interceptions. He's just always around the ball. He's he's a playmaker, and I feel like he's gonna be a great fit. Great fit at Pitt. You think he could play a little nickel or you know do some things that uh, Eric did, or you, you see him more as kind of a safety, at least from what you've seen so far this camp? I I do see him at nickel. Like I said, he he has some corner experience um, when he was at Kentucky. So I, can, I do see him at nickel and playing that. I feel like we can move, bounce him around a lot. Like, very versatile. Like, oh, we got a good – we got the good one with MJ. I think so. Brandon, I wanted to ask about P.J. O'Brien. Uh, he's a, you know, young guy from Florida, likes to hit. 
And I feel like that's how you were kind of described coming in. I mean, do you see a little bit of yourself in him at all? It's a piece of ass. That's a little bird right there, man. I feel he's like he's another guy who he's gonna be great, a great player, great player, a lot of energy. Like you said, physicality. He's not like he's not gonna be afraid to hit anybody. He actually got my um my old uh, freshman jersey, number twenty-two, and he's like he's he's using it pretty well. So I do give him that, but now nah, just um but now nah, he's gonna be a great fit here. Um, just once he's you know he's young, he's still learning the playbook and stuff like that. But once he gets that and gets more comfortable, just getting the reps and seeing how fast the college is, college the college game is and like versus a high school game he, he'll adjust well but now nah, he's now nah, he's going to be great physical dude i like what I'm, I've, I've been like what i've seen out of him is this spring anything else for brandon today all good well that was a great session brandon we yes, appreciate sir. your time yes sir Thank you. Yes, sir. Go blue. Yes, ma'am. Go blue. We're going blue here, but thank you, Brandon. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Appreciate you. Have a good one, man. Good luck yes, Saturday. Yes, sir. All right. We'll wrap it up there. Thank you all for joining us today and hope to see you on Saturday for a football game in the press box at Heinz Field. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Let us know it. if you need anything. <laughs>